Hi guys, it's me Iman. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a get ready with me edition for a photo shoot that I'm going to in a few minutes. So I'm going to be showing you guys my hair, my makeup, and my outfit. Mostly focusing on my makeup because I primarily focused on my face. I didn't really do that much of my hair. Like you can tell, like I legit just brushed it out and took it out of my ponytail. Um, but yeah. And then my outfits, which is really basic, but you'll see later on in this video as well too. But I'm trying my best to post videos. So here I am with another video. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's just begin with this video now. Hi guys. So this is me in preparation of doing my makeup. So I'm just gonna be putting my hair behind. I'm just gonna do like a get ready, like get ready with me chit chat edition type of makeup routine really no. i'm gonna be starting off with my makeup first obviously i'm gonna do like a get ready with me chit chat edition um makeup tutorial it's been a really long time i haven't posted a makeup tutorial in a while so first i'm just gonna be using my tart shape tape to just uh put on my eye i mean eyelids as like a primer um i normally like to put concealer instead of primer because it takes all the redness away i'm not prepared like i'm on my bed i normally do my makeup on my bed and my brushes they need to be washed i haven't done my makeup in such a long time so we're just um my friends and i are just going to go somewhere local and doing like a little photo shoot because I haven't posted in like three months on Instagram and my Insta uh, my I don't have I like to post like blog type blog bloggy like what bloggers like to post I hope that makes sense but like artsy like aesthetic type video uh, pictures but the thing is the place where I live does not have like a lot of like aesthetics so like I don't know a lot of places around here that are like instagram picture worthy so now i'm just going to be taking my Too Faced peanut butter and jelly palette and i'm just going to be taking this brownie shade right here and just putting that in my crease so last year um i started getting my eyebrows done from this place in walmart which is called like siva Sava. i don't know how to say it but my eyebrows used to be so thick back in the day like last year now they're like so thin obviously you guys are gonna say this is thick too but compared to what i had it was thick and i liked it thick but this is not that bad either but i feel like she i get my brows done so i feel like this is kind of like uneven like right here i feel like she went a little too in compared to this side but um but yeah i like my brows but I think it went too ham on the brown, so. Peanut butter cup, and I'm just gonna be taking it onto a small smudge brush and just taking Fix Plus. If I have any Fix, yeah, Fix Plus here. This stinks, like this one is in, um, it's a scented one that I got and I don't like it. I got it during the like limited edition, um, holiday, th holiday things from a few years ago. And I, I hate this smell it's like lavender i think or i don't know i'll post it on the screen but can you come out yo let me get my other one this one doesn't smell this one's much better but i know that they have a few one a few scented ones um which personally i don't prefer but i wanted to give it a shot so get the regular one the regular one smells okay as well too not the best but ooh. I have so I love eyeshadow, but the thing is sometimes. But the thing is, I sometimes just wear eyeliner out the door and just call it a day because I don't. Sometimes like to put in the effort, to putting on like eyeshadow and then cleaning this up and then you know. All that jazz. And I hate putting on mascara like mascara for some reason like when I when it gets like 
when it's on for a few hours my eyeballs start to hurt i don't know i, I feel it's the mascara because whenever i do put on mascara it it like hurts like my upper lid like underneath which is bad but i like how mascara looks on me this is the morphe n562 brush which looks like this um, I'm just going to be taking that orangey shade right here, which is called Nuts About You. Put it in my crease gently, lightly, whatever you want to say it. But, so I'm taking the Morphe um, 321 brush. It's like a smudger brush, definer brush. But yeah, the time right now is like 10.30. And I told her I'll be ready at 10.30, but as y'all know, plans don't go by plans at times. And so she's at school right now too, so she was supposed to get picked up at 9.45. But I got uh, her sister's asleep right now or something like that, I don't know. And, um, and so this one looks much better than this one. And so I bet she, she's at school still, so she has to get ready as well too. We were supposed to get ready together, but I was like, I don't feel like taking all of this over there at her house, so I'll just get ready here. So that's what we did, what I did. Now I'm just gonna take another fluffy brush from Morphe and then just blending everything out. I don't know what's going on right here, so let's clean this up a little. This creamy shade from this Wet n Wild palette um, and taking this shade and then taking a Morphe M167 brush and just putting this on my brow bone because I like how this look I like how this looks like it doesn't look blended so I'm just going to be taking that same blending brush and blending that okay I'm done with the eyeshadow so now I'm just gonna be taking some eyeliner. So this is my staple eyeliner that I always go to. This is the Kat Von D liner. I hope it's not dried up, cause I'll take the small one, cause I know this one's new. Um, but yo, same thing with eyeliner. Like I've been wearing eyeliner since eighth grade, and it's and I'm in college now. And back then too, like my eyeliner skills were not that bad. If I have any pictures, I can insert them, but I didn't have a phone until ninth grade. But I had an iPod, so if you guys remember those videos, you guys are a true OG. Um, but yeah, I just like to do my inner, my inner, my eyelid, and then, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but... Okay. That was quick. Normally it doesn't take me this fast to do it. After this, I like to take another liner, which is the NYX Matte Liner. Um, I like how it looks like the finish of it, so that's why I do this step. Okay, eyeliner is done. Put on lashes. These are my favorite lashes. They are from Kiss. Um, so now I'm just going to be putting them on. Having them a little bit tacky. I'm just gonna put on my primer. I should have done this before, but if I could put a little bit of this, because too much of this makes me like. And then I take my favorite concealer, which they discontinued, which was the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. They reformulated this, or like repackaged this, I guess. But they don't have the squeezy tube, which I like the squeezy tube. This is the only concealer 
that like actually matches me. I've tried so many. Like I've tried uh, this. I, I wanted my bet. Like I wanted to give this a shot, but this was like too thick on me. This was all right, but I feel like it wasn't my shade, and it's kind of hard to find your shade at the drugstore. So I didn't even try. So I asked the Sephora lady to color match me, and so she colored matched me in um, different with that like but IQ thing. I don't know what do you call it? IQ tester, and um, I was like, could could I pick a concealer based off of that? So then this was on that list. So then I got it, and then I liked it, and it's not too bright or anything. It's like the perfect. Like, it doesn't even look like I have concealer on when I, like, set everything and all that, which is nice because I don't like brightening concealers or, like, orangey concealers or even doing that triangle thing. I want it, like, my skin. But I don't like putting on foundation either. Cause like I don't like that feeling of like you know caked up face so I just put on concealer that's it I normally just put it under my eyes that's it I don't like putting nothing right here or right here I because I don't need it I'm going to be taking my trusty old translucent powder from Too Faced for years as well too I've been using this blush and I love this blush it's the Too Faced <laughs> this brush blush by Too Faced it's love your love is king I'm just gonna be putting this on my cheeks I like how pigmented this is and they don't sell this anymore either so yeah the camera shows it it's way too much but it's not i did not apply this much tart co contour stick which they don't sell anymore either bro i it seems like i have like old ass makeup which i do but it's not that old either and i don't like getting makeup as much as i used to like how like i used to get makeup like i don't know like a lot i stop now it's good That looks disgusting. Then I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia Glow Kit in Sweets. And I'm just gonna be mixing this one and like all of them and putting them, putting it onto the Anastasia A223 brush. I like to mix them all because like marshmallow is the best one. Then I like to take a smaller brush, like a um what is this? The M23, the M213, and I'm taking marshmallow again and then butterscotch, putting it in my inner corner because I like the That's what it looks like. Anastasia Hudson and Ashton. So I'm putting on Ashton first. And if you guys don't know, like I and I love Anastasia. Like the liquid lipsticks. The tissue ready as well too. Get the other one, which is Hudson. This was a limited edition, but I bet they have individuals of this shade and then just putting that in the inner portion blot it looks like a stain so I like how it looks like but yeah, that's it for my finished makeup. But for my hair, I'm just gonna 
sorry i keep on looking over there because the windows are right there and the neighbors keep on coming out i'm just gonna have it like i'm gonna brush it out so i'll be right back okay my hair is done now i just need an outfit change and i'll show you guys my outfit when two seconds okay you guys this is my outfit so i'm wearing this shirt the sweater thing it's from um target this denim jacket you can flip it as well too you can wear it this way or like the denim style way which i got from forever 21 and then my jeans are from american eagle socks are from marshall's and earrings are from um target and i'm going to be taking my hair out so let me show you guys my sweat sweater. It looks like this. It's like I got it last year during this time of year from Target, so they might not have it, but they might have something similar. So I know that because I work there. But yeah, that's my whole outfit. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did. You should give this video a thumbs up and if you guys haven't already subscribed subscribe let me know down below what else videos you guys want to see um i do read you guys' comments and like them and see them so yes yeah um i'll catch you guys in my photo shoot vlog which or my photo shoot video or what video i'm gonna do next i don't know which one i'm gonna do next so i'll catch you guys then so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys then